Welcome. My name is Daryl Labar, and in this video I want to talk about icons. Now, when you create a new entity in Dynamics 365, you get this beautifully ugly custom icon. It looks bad, and when someone is looking at what you've configured and they see that, it just makes everything look worse. And it's amazing how a, a nice icon that actually matches what the entity is or does uh, can really pull, pull it together. So, I'm going to walk through creating these custom icons. First thing I do is I go to a site called flaticons.net. Okay, and here you can search for any of these flat icons. You want a flat icon just that way it, it matches the look and feel of the Dynamics 365. So what I'm looking for here is um, taking taking people's payment. So maybe I'm looking for money. Um, Got to donate. That's close. Um, maybe there's a payment icon. So you just kind of search through here. You can also search through your, your icons down here. Oh, this is one I like. So I'm just going to click on that one. Okay. So here's your part where we need to actually def configure the size and the uh, padding and the background shape and the color of the icon that we want. So for Dynamics 365, we just need the 32-bit. And for the padding here, I'm going to give it a one a one pixel padding. Uh, and I don't want any background shape, so I want the, the background color to come through. And then for the 32-bit size, I want a white background. That way it will match the standard out-of-the-box uh, icons here. So that's what I'm going to use for that. So I'm going to download that. And then the next one I want to download is the 16-bit version, or 16-pixel version. So 16 pixels, since it's so small, I usually don't have any padding on that. Then we need to choose a color. Now if I look at what's here, this is where the 16-bit will be used. If I pick white, that's white on a really light gray, and it really doesn't turn out very well. So what I've done is, is kind of look to see what the actual color is that's done by default. And the best I can find, and the easiest I can remember, is 64, 64, 64. So think of like a 64-bit machine, 64-bit windows, 64, 64, 64. And that gives you a nice gray color. So I'm going to go ahead and download that. So now I've got a, a, a payment icon of 16 and a payment icon of 32. So now what's the next step? Well, the next step is actually uploading that into your environment. And that way, and updating the icons. So, I'm going to actually go through first, and I'm actually going to rename that. So let me open up that folder. And I'm going to rename these to uh, the actual um, size. This is, this is the 16. And I normally just put an underscore just that, or a lowercase to begin with, um, but you don't have to. There's nothing that has to do with that. But you put an underscore at the end, and then a 16 to mean that it's 16 pixel size. And this one, it's nice enough that the actual name of the icon, name of the image actually matches the icon, uh, but it doesn't always have to. Or won't always when you download it, at the very least. Right, so there's my 16 and my 32. Now this next step is completely optional, but for us, uh, we have all of our images, all of our JavaScript files, everything checked into our source control. So I'm going to go ahead and move that into our source control folder. So here's my source control folder that I have with all my images in it. I'm just going to paste it in here. Now we've got our two images, our small gray one and our big white one. And if it looks really bad from here, that's okay, because we're actually going to give it a background color once we upload that into CRM. There are lots of different ways in order for you to add that web resource into CRM. There may be other tools you're already using. I find that the web resource manager within the XRM toolbox, if you don't have the XRM toolbox, that's www.xrmtoolbox.com. In here, the web resource manager makes it really easy for me to actually upload those folders. So I just load the actual file from disk, and this contains all the files that I've actually uploaded for my solution. And in here, it's Going to find, I'm going to find the actual image I just uploaded, so that's payment. I select those two, and I can select CRM, update, publish, and add to the solution. I'm only adding it to the solution, so that way I can move it along to each and every environment that I need to do this to. So I'm looking for my solution I want to add it to. There we go. Alright, so I just took those two images and it pushed it out, updated it to my Dynamics 365 instance, and it also added it to solution, so that way I can just go ahead and move that solution that I'm um, creating the ent actual entity in from an environment to an environment. So that's done. Now it's just going in and actually creating the 
actually moving the actual um, or assigning the actual image. So when you're on the entity, click Update Icons. Okay. Now that's loaded. I put a star because I don't know what the beginning is. Payment, and then 16, and that should find my. There it is. And do the same thing here. Done. Okay. All right. So now I've actually updated those icons. Another thing we want to do is change the background color if we want. And again, you can make this whatever you want, but if you want to make it match the actual the actual out of the box background blue color, it's 001 CA5. That'll match that. And I also want to actually add this to our uh Go ahead and add it to one of these just for right now. That date, that's going to update. We'll see that uh, the payment icon here is already updated. So I don't have that ugly icon and publish that. Okay. So now when I reload this. And I have my custom icon here. And if you don't like that little that little uh that little endpoint there kind of sticking outside the file, we can go ahead and, and add another layer of padding. That might not be a bad idea in this case. I'm gonna go ahead and flip that to two. So you can play around with this if you want. So going back to this, and rather than one, I want two. And then we want this to be all white, which is all Fs. Okay. So that's pretty much the same thing. Open that file. I'm going to rename it to what we had before. I need to delete the other one. Alright, so rename that one. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to put it back in my folder for the images. Replace that. Cool. So that's there. Now I need to push that back up. It's as simple as right clicking on that within the web resource manager. Refresh from disk. And then save and publish. Now since I've already added the actual file to the solution, I don't need to worry about pushing it to another solution again. I'm just updating the file. So let's save and publish. Now I can go back in and refresh. Continue. Now we have just enough of a, a breakthrough between between the top of that and the edge of that that we can see that it's, it's separate. So that's kind of where that's at. So you can kind of mess with that, around with that. Probably two is probably a good default one to use. But that way at least it, it looks like it's out of the box and you have no idea this is something custom and it makes it for a nice clean icon. So, And there you have it. Again, it's flaticons.net. Go and find whatever icon you want. Download a 32, bit, a 32 pixel. That's uh, two, two pixels of padding of the FFFFF color and then for the smaller one it's a 16 uh, 64 64 64 if you want that gray color you can make it whatever color you want but just to kind of match the out of the box stuff that's what I, I tend to do so that's it thank you very much if you have any questions please let me know